will go to my Bass Pro Shop worm binder. Uh, I'm going to go fast. I might not show you every worm uh, just because there's a lot in here, but I'll show you the majority of what I use. I use this gulp. Can't open it up because it's it's all leaked. Uh, but they're the sinking minnows. I got them in Green Pumpkin and June Bug. They work really well for smallmouth. That's all I use them for is smallmouth. They work really well. I've got the Power Bait Power Minnow. This is an emerald shiner color. Great drop shot bait. One of my favorite drop shot baits right there. Um, I have another. Another power bait, power minnow, and smelt color. Again, great drop shot bait. Um, oh, I hate the smell of those. Chomper drop shot worms. Uh, the Lake Fork Hyper Worm. Six inch and June Bug. Oh yeah, Lake Fork reeks, dude. I mean, it smells so bad. Uh, I got the Man's 12-inch Jelly Worm. This is my favorite color by far. It's like a pinkish purple. Uh, I Carolina rig these guys. Works really well. And then I have the uh, Bass Pro Shops Tournament Series. This is a 12-inch. Not anywhere near as good as the Man's. Um, but that's, you know, those are what I use the majority for Carolina rigging. I also have the Man's 8 inch Jelly Worm. Another great Carolina rigging bait. Or, I'm going to start drop shotting this bait this year. Um, you know, 8 inches, kind of too big to drop shot, but I'm definitely going to try it. I, I, you know, it's all about experimenting. You know, you can, who knows, you know, maybe a 12 inch drop shot worm. Who even, like, there's no. There's no set rule on what size worm you have to use. Um, so I'm going to try drop shotting those this year. Hopefully I have a good couple of videos of that. Here's a Zoom U-Tail and Green Pumpkin. Another 10 inch or 8 inch. Um, here is a Strike King uh, U-Tail worm. I I don't know if this is Rage Tail or not, I can't remember. I bought these a long time ago, but they smell like coffee, so that's why I know they're Strike King. Um, that's another great bait. I've got flukes, you guys don't need to see flukes. Everyone knows what a fluke is. Brush hogs, everyone knows what brush hogs are. Uh, I love pitching those in docks. Um, my, my number one tube I use is either the small green pumpkin tube right there. I use that for sight fishing for spawning bass in their beds. Uh, or, you know, if they don't hit something that small, and I learned this from Mike Iaconelli, um, he had a YouTube video on it, I'll throw something a little bit bigger, like a, uh, a shiner color tube at them. And if they don't hit that, you know, he told me, uh, and I don't know how it's going to work, but I decided I'm going to try it this year. If they don't hit that, go with something bigger. Well, I mean, why not? So I bought myself an 8-inch tube right here. Which I think is going to be great. Um, and I think Mike Iaconelli, I mean, he knows what he's talking about. Um, I just got some more drop shot worms and some magnum flukes. Uh... It, leave a comment. Who's your guys' favorite uh, Bass Pro? Do you like Kevin Van Dam? Do you like uh, Stacy King? Who do you guys like? Uh, my personal favorite is Mike Iaconelli. I think it's just, you can relate, I can relate to him better because he's younger. Um, really like his enthusiasm. I'll go here to my other side. I've got some Yum Dingers. This is one of my go-to River baits right here, the four inch yum dinger. Great action. I um, think I'm probably going to start uh, throwing the five inch in the river, but I've just had really good luck with the four inch. Got my two colors of Zoom Finesse Worms, June Bug, 
Really love Junebug color. This is like a Mardi Gras color. Uh, two great worms. You can shaky head those. You can drop shot them. You can Texas rig them. You can do whatever. Um, one of my favorite trick worm colors is a bubble gum. Caught a lot of fish on that bubble gum worm. And then I also have a blood red. Again, you can Texas rig those. You can uh, Carolina rig those. You can shake your head them. You can do a lot of different things. Um, here's the Zoom shaky head worm. I don't like these very much for shaky heads. Um, I don't find that they work very well. Tell me what you guys think. Do you guys like the Zoom shaky head worms or not? Uh, maybe. Maybe I'm not doing it right, maybe I'm not working them right, but I haven't found any good luck with them. Alright, the worm that produces me the most fish is going to kind of, you know, shock you. It's a french fry. Four inch french fry, right here. If you can find these, they're really good. Um, I'm not sure who makes these, but I have so many of these things. Great action. Uh, I Texas rig them with a fourth ounce bowl weight. So many fish on those things. Um, we caught a five pounder last year on those. That's probably the biggest fish we've caught on those. Uh, again, I mean, it's not gigantic, but it was pretty, pretty darn good. Um, when I bought the Stanley Why Nots, I also saw the uh, Stanley Sidewinders. So I decided to pick up a pack of those. Those are going to be really great. I've got some. Gary Yamamoto's. I try not to fish Gary Yamamoto's. I don't really like them that much. They break off way too easy, but this is like a uh, green pumpkin and chartreuse tail. And this is a, uh, I can't remember what color this is, like an orange color. Um, I got the orange color for $3 on sale at Sports Authority, so I decided to pick it up just because they were cheap. But I usually try to stay away from Yamamoto. They're a great bait. Don't, don't get me wrong. They're a really good bait. They just fall off really easily. Uh, here's a Kevin Van Diem. Ke Kevin Van Diem. Kevin Van Dam cough, cough, caffeine shad. Uh, this is a sh I can't remember. Shad color. That's what it looks like to me. Great action in the tail. It's probably my number one fluke I throw. I've got some... Uh, some power worms in here, just some four inch power worms I use for drop shotting. And then my probably my go to cold water bait is a uh, Zoom uh, red shad color util worm. Really love that bait. I've got some eight inch in there and some ten inch in there. So, guys, that's it for my tackle. Um, I'll do anything on my rods also. Uh, and yeah, I mean, definitely check out edge, edgefishing.com. They've really got some good stuff there. Um, and then also check out trophybaits.com and do, do bass all your favor and, you know, just, just comment on one of his videos and just tell him, you know, that he helped you or that you heard from, uh, Fishing Missouri that, uh, that you... Uh, helped him get some trophy baits, uh, pick out the good colors and whatnot. I mean, obviously you're gonna have to pay for them, but he helped me pick out some good colors. So, uh, thanks guys. Stay tuned for more Fishing Missouri. See you guys later. Bye.